Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off again. What's up everybody, welcome to my first ever golf vlog here on the channel. I know it's only in a simulator, but us Canadians slash Ontarians know the struggle of wanting to be able to golf in the winter time. And I know I'm only doing a voiceover, but eventually I'll get more comfortable speaking in front of the camera. But let's get straight into the golf. I'm playing the back nine here at Glen Abbey, it's hole number 10. It is playing about 358 yards away, so I clearly used the driver off the tee here. I wanted to hit a little draw starting at the bunker. The distance drew it a little further than I thought, but honestly, I'll take that spot any day of the week. The second shot was a little blocked up by the tree, so I just aimed a little left to try and land on the green. As you can see, I hit a little too far, but it stayed on the green. And during the settings, I set it to Auto Tour Pro Putting, which you see later on in the video that I probably should have just put it at two Auto Two Putts, but see here it gave me the result of a two putt par. Hole 11 is the iconic hole here at Glen Abbey Golf Course which is a tee shot on top of a hill down into the valley which plays about 409 yards away. I wanted to start a draw at the left side of the fairway to avoid any of the creeks or bunkers on the right side but as you can see I hit it pretty straight and pushed it up to the left into the rough but Again, I would, I would take that any day of the week and left myself in a pretty good decent for my second shot. Second shot was about 115 yards away. So I took my 52 degree because I knew how to really uh, put a good stroke on it because I was sitting in the rough. As you can see here, I just barely got over that river and I almost landed on the green, which I really wanted it to because then I, would, I wouldn't have to see this little chip. But it's pretty straightforward. Nice little chip. I honestly thought it would have been perfect, but clearly I pushed it way past the hole, which resulted in a two putt for bogey. And just like my name, I'll play bogey golf all day long. Hole 12 is the first and only par three that I'll be doing in this video. It is 180 yards away, so I took my seven iron and you can see with my reaction, I kind of pulled it to the right. I was really hoping I didn't hit it out of bounds. And luckily enough, I got a nice break and caught a tree and bounced right into the bunker. Pretty straightforward bunker shot. I was really trying to just carry it to the hole. Chunked it a little bit and just got on the green. And for a second, you can see I'm walking away, just hoping that it would stop. Clearly I couldn't tell from looking at the screen that it was a false front, so it rolled all the way back down and got the chip, chip on again. Another straightforward little chip. I knew I hit that one a little too hard. And again, kind of missed opportunity to try and get it up and down for a par, but we'll take the bogey after that type of tee shot. last and final hole of the vlog is hole number 13. It is a par 5 which is playing 481 yards away. So obviously I'm taking my driver off the tee here. I just really was trying to aim straight down the middle but pushed it out to the left again. Hoping I didn't go in the creek or out of bounds which I didn't and I just got past the tree. But once you see here I kind of blocked out from the uh, trees to even really try and go for it. So I took my 7 iron and punched it out to a pretty good distance that I'm very comfortable with, which is around 100 yards away. My next shot, I decided to take my 56 degree, my sand wedge, and just aim straight at the flag. Hit a really nice shot. Was hoping that it was going to spin back down off the hill here. But it stayed where it was, but we'll take that any day. And like I said, the auto tour putting, instead of giving me the two putt, it gave me a three putt for bogey. There you have it, my first ever golf vlog here on the channel. Thanks for watching. Drop a like or comment what other type of golf content you would like to see from me throughout the upcoming months, hopefully in the summer.
Thank you. <laughs>